so as you can see we have a speed of over 13 mega hashes per second and this is pretty stable I am mining since let's see nineteen fifty eight that are a couple of hours so let's see from eight o'clock pm for for six hours and almost a half so I think it's pretty stable there shouldn't be any problems with the miner this is the GPU that I'm using the RX 550 series and now let's see how do we get this speed because when you buy it um, you get 8.7 mega hashes per second on this Ethereum miner so this is uh, the 4 gigabyte model there is also the 2 gigabyte model on this series but we are using the 4 gig now on the 2 gigabyte model you can try and use the same settings it may be working I'm not sure because I don't have a GPU to test it out but just try it out so let's see first of all <coughs> what you have to do I'll just stop the miner so you go to the internet and you will want to type RX 550 driver so this is after you have installed Windows of course right so go to the first link and I'm using Windows 10 64 bit so I will choose this and this is the driver you want to download the adrenaline edition okay now <coughs> you can use some lower drivers if you want to let's see what what's the driver that I'm having I'm not sure that I have the latest one but anyway yeah I'm having the latest one anyway you want to have the adrenaline driver okay so I'm using the latest you can try it with some older drivers it doesn't matter so download the driver install it and after that we will have to tweak it out a bit because if you will start the miner let me just show you what was the miner that I'm using <coughs> so this is the miner the claymore dual ethereum version 11.9 I will put a link in the description with um, every um, of the applications that I'm using including minor uh, also drivers and everything so you will you will find everything in the description make sure you check it out so anyway this is the minor that I'm using now if you will start it up just after you install the driver you will see that you will get something like 8.7 mega hashes per second which is pretty bad now the next step you want to do is open the uh, AMD settings software so if you don't see it here just go to start and type in let's see AMD so this is the application you want to start okay once you're here go to gaming global settings and now you will see 
uh, these settings now if you will have uh, more than one graphics card you will see uh, each of them and uh, for each of the card you will have global settings and global what man I'm not sure what is doing what this doing but anyway we won't use this and you will have this performance monitoring but anyway we will just use global graphics okay so in the global graphics section you will have to go to GPU workload and make sure it's on compute mode um, on stock you will have it on graphics but you just change it on compute mode now after you will do the change it will ask you this if you want to restart the uh, Radeon settings uh, make sure you click yes and after you will click yes your screen will uh, get black and after that you will see the uh, image again and you will have to wait until this comes on the screen okay so just wait until this comes on the screen now you can go back to gaming global settings and make sure it's on compute mode if you want to after this you will have to get out of that we don't need it anymore and now if you will try the miner you will get something about 11 point something mega hashes per second already but that's not enough because we can do better than that so let's see how we do better than that now the next step is to mod the BIOS of the graphics card okay so in order to do that you will have to download some of these programs which are let's see You, you will need Polaris BIOS Editor 1.6.7 at least this is what I'm using you can try and use something else but this is what I'm using uh, you will need GPU Z and you will need Atiflash underline 284 okay and after that you will need the patcher this one okay uh, let's see how we do this so first of all you will have to go to let's see where I have it here first of all you will have to go to GPU Z, Z and um, you can uh, hit not now you don't have to install it <clears throat> and you will see here your GPU so this is my GPU okay uh, now you will be able to select each GPU from from here uh, for example if uh, you are seeing here Intel HD graphics or something else just make sure you select the proper GPU and what you want to do is to save the stock BIOS uh, because if you don't do it you can't load it up to make the changes and anyway you want to uh, have your stock BIOS saved because if anything happens you may be wanting to get back to stock alright so what you have to do is just click here you can see that it's saying save BIOS just click save save to file and now what I'm doing is just press save or if you have a uh, more graphics card you can name them like one two uh, just for you to know uh, which graphics card the the BIOS is from alright so I already have it saved here so I won't do it anymore now after you saved the BIOS you will have to modify it in order to do that we will use this tool the Polaris BIOS editor you wanna make sure you run all of this in administrator 
hit yes. Now, this may not work because um, of Windows 10, but if you have any problems with some of the programs, just uh, install Windows 7 on 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 some HDD. Uh, do your stuff I mean uh, flash the BIOSes and everything and then uh, just put your graphics card back to the minor alright so if it's not working if you get any error just make sure you install Windows 7 do all the work there and then and then uh, put your graphics card on the minor so you want to hit open BIOS and you want to navigate to where you have your BIOS uh, saved and for me it's here okay so you want to open up this BIOS and you have to click one click timing patch and this will, this will recognize your graphics card and everything and just press OK and you're almost good to go now the next step is to go to memory here and select this latest uh, value uh, for me it's uh, 1750 now if you run the same graphics card will it will be the same if you have an, another graphics card it may be different but for RX 550 you just go here and you want to modify it to 1950 okay and then hit apply changes and you will see that it will be changed here okay so after you have done this just press save as uh, I have made a folder with modded BIOSes and I, I have tried um, different uh, settings uh, so you will just have to save the BIOS uh, let's say modded BIOS ok hit save and that's it now what we have to do is to flash the new BIOS on the graphics card so you go to add the win flash uh, not this this one run is run it as administrator and what you have to do make sure you have your graphics card selected here with the dot hit load image now go to the modded BIOS that you just saved which is this one and then what you have to do is hit program so I have already done this I won't do it or okay I will I will do it just for you to see exactly how it's done okay so hit program oh it says that the version of virus is already installed okay anyway you hit program and uh, I think some box will, will appear if you are sure you want to flash the bio just hit yes and uh, after that a window will pop up and it will say that you have to restart your your uh, computer just hit yes wait for your computer to boot up and after that after it will boot up you will see that <clears throat> if you go to the device manager um, you will uh, see uh, an exclamation mark uh, here at the graphics card because um, of the modded BIOS okay and it may be that your um, resolution will be bad and everything but uh, we will fix that just now okay so after your computer is restarted what you wanna do is go to this pixel patcher run it as administrator 
and you will see that you will have uh, uh, something else here for me it's already patched um, it will say something else here but anyway you just hit yes uh, let's see I can restore from backup let's restore from backup see what okay and if I go back again so this is what you will see found on everything and it will ask patch found values yes just patch the values wait for this message hit ok and that's it now I recommend you to restart your um, computer again and after that what you have to do is start the miner and enjoy your your speed of mining okay so that's kind of it uh, I recommend you to hit that subscribe button maybe also the like button but uh, I really recommend you to hit the subscribe and the bell because if I will get something better than this I will make sure that I will upload a video of it so if I can squeeze some more mega hashes from some graphics card you will be the first to be noticed okay so you can see here that we have a bunch of mega hashes per second it's a pretty good speed uh, the the power uh, the power consumption is the same uh, I have done a, a measurement with uh, such power uh, consumption meters and uh, it's the same power consumption consumption okay so this is it make sure you subscribe and have a nice day cheers